Sanjay Kolkachek. I just have to ask uh, you a personal question, if you don't mind, since Absolutely. we've had so much discussion about evolutionary pressures and fertility and so on. Do you have a cat? I do not. Everyone knows that evolution between species often goes on a kind of arms race. If we've evolved a natural defense against cats bringing us small dead animals, do you then predict some sort of evolutionary adaptation where they're going to start bringing us jewelry or Amazon <laughs> gift cards? Are the, are the cats going to up their game here is what I'm saying. I think that in the future, um, we are both at risk, uh, or not us, but larger animals are at increasing risk of cat uh, hunting. Um, there's also numerous other strategies that cats will use to uh, win our approval and compete with infants. Um, Toxoplasma gondii, for instance, um, does not kill adults, does not kill um, cats, but it does kill fetuses. Um, and it is uh, one of the... Um, and it lives in cats and has caused them a lot of evolution. Are the cats damage. working with the deer? <laughs> okay, that's what you're getting at, isn't it? I think it is, uh, I think they certainly benefit from that partnership because I think that uh, deers have a much harder time earning human approval. Um, so I think I found a flaw in your theory. Um, I know that sounds presumptuous, but I grew up with a dog and my dog would regularly bring me wooden, wood and other stick, you know, stick materials. And I became a botanist, so I feel like maybe there's a problem. Could you elaborate, please? <laughs> <laughs> well, rather than bringing disgusting mice, my dog would bring me gifts of, of wood, and, and I wasn't horrified, I was in fact thrilled, and um, fed my dog, and occasionally when I'd have dates, the dog would interrupt the date. May, may I ask you a personal question? <laughs> How many children do you have? <laughs> dance. <laughs> well, you know, if cats are manipulating human behavior, then you've got a good historical case that the Egyptians believed that cats were divine, which would make Nefertiti kind of the biggest cat lady of the ancient world. You've got the Middle Ages thinking that witches were somehow being, being waited upon by cats. But your theory seems to suggest that the humans who accumulate the most cats in their house would be empowered by them in order to, in order to carry forward the cat's master plan for the world. So is that something we have to worry about? Yes. <laughs> Sanjay Kolkachak. <laughs> <laughs> 